Y'all, I'm trying to make a video. Shelby Lou. Say I love you. Now, you see these stuffed animals, right? My husband bought me both of them. You, you see who took over my stuffed animals, right? Well, why aren't you going to... Just, just say it instead of hacking it. Say, I love you. I love you. That teddy bear is about as big as she is. She's my little nutcase and I love her. Shelby, are you a sweetheart? Are you a brat? <laughs> what time is that? Yeah, you want to go outside? Let's go outside. Well, you can't take Teddy outside. I'll be right back, y'all. All right. So, I'll probably get about another, what, one to two minutes before they start wanting back in. How? Yeah, my dogs are crazy. I love them, but they are crazy and insane. But they're my fur babies, and I love them to death. So, you guys, tomorrow is... Friday the 13th, and it's also in October, and things are getting crazy, and we just need to pray for the people. We, you know what, we need to pray that God's going to step in. We were so close. Things are going on. And actually, honestly, I feel at such peace. And you want to know something else? I guess now the news in America is now reporting on what is supposed to take place tomorrow. Um, my father, and the only reason I know this is because my father-in-law messaged me and said, Hey, this just came on the news this morning. We weren't sure if you got this from a legitimate source. So, I was like, well, I told you. You guys could do what you want with it. Make your plans. Do whatever, you know. Um, But, yeah, apparently now some news stations are reporting on what is to come tomorrow? Um, I'm not sure exactly what the news is actually talking about. Or how they're presenting it or anything. I just know it's being talked about now. And y'all, I'm so happy that I download, downloaded that End Times News app. Because it alerts you when there's something new going on. Um... I haven't had time to actually sit down and read the app and figure out what's going on. But it's like, it's helpful. <sighs> I'm ready to leave this world. I am ready to be at home with Jesus. And you know what? I kind of want to talk to you guys a little bit of where I think, depending on how they want to attack and what their strategy might be. I think they're going to hit gun-free zones. I think they're going to hit highly populated areas such as big cities, baseball, football, softball, whatever games are going on, um, arenas, movie theaters, and different areas like that in the city. Um, you know, they may even hit the zoos. I don't know. I just know the world needs to be prepared for anything. Um, and I'm going to say this. Take it with a grain of salt. 
we need to be prepared that the rapture could happen at any moment. We need to be prepared for the rapture to happen at any moment. Because we're that close. Now, I'm not naming a day or an hour. I'm just saying we're so close to the rapture that things are not falling apart. Because right now, right now, it looks like the world is crumbling. It looks like it is just falling apart. But God has a plan because the seven years of tribulation has to come to pass. So... I don't want to claim to know. I don't want to tie God's hands. But at some point, God's got to step in. He said he would step in. And so I am just leaning on God. I'm leaning on Jesus. And I am just praying that God will just send Jesus to come get us. And I feel like we need to be praying that a lot. Now, it's it's one of my dad's favorite times of the year he takes his cell phone with him out there just in case somebody needs to get a hold of him but it's on silent he don't really look at it you know, all you know is that he's going in the woods and you mm, you'll you'll see him in a, either in a couple of hours or you'll see him at nightfall when he comes walking through the door. Because it, it's my it's my uncle's favorite time of the year too. And um I'll tell you something. It was my grand one of my grandpa's favorite times of the year as well. And it is something that Oh, it's my my brother's fa favorite time of the year too. I love this time of the year as well. A lot of my family does. Um, and my husband, he wishes that we could go more often. But sometimes his work prevents us from going as much as we would like. Uh, because this time of year, his work is super busy. Uh, but you know what? <laughs> I, I'm, I honestly miss getting in the back of Old Blue. Which literally getting in the bed of the truck. And driving up to, because I lived in California at the time, so we would go to Greenhorn. And we would practice by shooting the squirrels and use them as a target practice so we could get really good at shooting deer. Just in case they move, you know. Um, and hogs. If you haven't guessed it, it's deer season. And you know what? Living in Oklahoma and even small towns... They love it because it gives them an opportunity to go kill their own food, provide for their families, get get a break from this cuckoo crazy world. And y'all, you terrorists don't want to be messing with small town folks right now. Honestly, if the terrorists were smart, they would stay out of small towns and they would stay out of, um, that they would definitely not go anywhere near any type of wood. Um, you know, just saying, don't, don't go into the woods unless you, you know what you're doing. Because the hunters are way up in the trees and, uh, you know, they, they blend into, to the, to their surroundings so, um, I, I think, I think if the terrorists are smart, they're going to avoid that stuff. They're going to stick to the big cities that love to be like gun-free zones. And so, I'm preparing myself to just stay home, pray to God, watch the news, and figure out what's going on. And if I get any updates from the major cities that are going on around me, I want to make sure that my loved ones are safe. Um, One of my sister-in-law lives in the city. And actually, she lives in Oklahoma City, which is about three hours from me. And then Dallas is about three hours from me. 
So, I've got two major cities that are literally three hours from me about going each way. And so, I'm going to be watching those very closely. Now, there are a few others, but those are the two that are like the ones that I don't like going to Dallas. But Dallas and surrounding areas, those are big towns and then you get to the city of Dallas which is huge and compacted so there is no telling if this if this actually does occur there's no telling how bad tomorrow's gonna get and I'm telling you right now if you're in the cities get out of the cities go to a small town and if you're in Oklahoma Open carry. We, in Oklahoma, we we have a law that allows us to open carry. So, I would have a gun on you. I would open carry and I would be ready to defend yourself and defend your loved ones, your neighbors, your friends, if possible. Now, while I'm telling you this with the expectation I live every day with the expectation that the rapture is going to interrupt these plans. But we don't know. We have to be prepared. Stay. Keep your lamps full of oil. And be ready for whatever comes our way. And know that no matter what, God is in control. And just keep your eyes on Jesus. Because we are coming to an end of a dispensation. And we will go home soon. Things are not falling apart. Things are falling into place. Keep your eyes on the sky. If anything else comes up, I will make another video. But for now, this is what I have to say. Y'all be safe. And um, I'll either see you in heaven or my next video. Bye, guys.